poverty on First Nations um, reserves is devastating. I mean, it looks like suicide. It looks like young people killing themselves, you know, at horrific rates. There's communities where, you know, 12 to 20 people, young people, have taken their own lives, you know, within the space of a couple of years. Poverty is devastating. It robs people of their will to live. And it's also, you know, it's also violent murders and deaths and disappearances of Indigenous women. A national public inquiry or a commission, that's the first thing that has to happen. It has to be popu you know, properly funded so that the people who are actually impacted can participate. And I'm talking about family members of missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls. Um, yeah, we, so basically we need leadership. We need this to be an inquiry that takes into account what the family members want. The family members want answers about their unsolved cases. Also, I believe that it is quite common in times of austerity, you know, for violence against Indigenous women and all women to, to escalate. You know, um, as as families break down, as more people are in crisis, um, these ex you know it, it does express itself in those who are most vulnerable in the society being attacked. You know, so we do see Indigenous women, um, trans people, two spirit people, bearing the brunt. You know of the anger and the the outrage that you know a politic of austerity is you know going to foster and create. So yeah, I think it'll be a shift in thinking about how you know we relate to the land and how we relate to the resources of this country. There are sustainable and safe ways to lift everybody up out of poverty. We just have to have that political will.